Hello everybody, I hope you are having a comfy, a cozy, and an absorbent Saturday afternoon. I have some good news, actually. I have two bits of good news. First good news is my wife is back. The lovely wife, Catherine, has returned to me. Yet another week has passed without her deciding to divorce me. Either in real life or in Stardew Valley. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm thankful for either. <laughs> uh, the other bit of good news is that uh, I didn't get peed on today. <laughs> the uh, we took we took sugar to the vet again today, um, and the past two times we've taken her to the vet, uh, she stress peed all over me. Uh, but we uh, we equipped her carrier with some uh, with some uh, what are they called? Absorbent pee pads. The pee yeah, is right. The pee pads. Um, and now that we've appropriately equipped her uh, carrier, she decided she no longer has any desire to uh, use the pee pads. So I am, I am glad to not know how effective those pee pads are. <laughs> Let's. Okay. So what's what's our what are we doing today? What's our what's our goal? Well, I was going to ask you how much you actually wanted to be involved in the sort of uh, strategy, or if you just want to go fishing and let me play everything else. Well, I'm going to go fishing. Okay. Bye, honey. <laughs> Bye. I'm going to go do my thing. <laughs> let me know when you have community center-based questions. I have a letter. Dear Dave, it's been so long since I heard from you. From Mammy. Oh, Oops. I got 500 money. I got 500 Mammy money. I also got 500 Mammy money. We are... Dang. Rolling in it. Do we have a, a cauliflower for Jody? Uh, no, it's growing. Jody or the cauliflower? Um, I don't know. Jody might be growing a little bit every day. <laughs> Good for her. Uh, can you hand me the uh, the fishing the fish list the 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 fish the list of fish? Are we allowed to do things that are off stream? We're allowed to do like real life stuff. Uh, like exchanging a piece of paper? Yeah. No, that is forbidden. From this moment forth, it is forbidden. When you first said, hand me this, I was like, what does he want that I... Dave cannot handle your request right now. <laughs> hand me the f list. The flish. Flish, the flish list. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. It's spring. We're still in spring, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's spring 19. Yep. And it's rainy. What happens in the rain? Catfish and shad in the river. I think we got both of those already. And... Can't do the walleye. Ooh, it can do an eel. No, we got plenty of eels. But they're also super valuable, so off I go. Cat well, I don't think we got the catfish yet. Thought we Unless we did. didn't submit it to the bundle. But that doesn't sound like me. Um Let us investigate. And I have to relearn the controls. Is there no no catfish in there? I didn't see one. Uh, oh, that's right. We we're we're lousy with halibut. <laughs> that's all we got. All right. So I am for those for the Stardew strategists out there. I took my spring forage and I made as many seeds as I could, and then I sell any dandelions or daffodils that I have because don't those don't provide you any food or energy. And then the leeks and the horseradish, you keep to um, you keep to eat in the mines. Kai, I hate <coughs> to disagree with you, but the secret woods is the wood skip. Catfish is just in the lake, and really? we know that because we have an officially printed um, fish list. And it was made by me, so you know it's one hundred percent accurate. I'm pretty uh, sure I'm right on that one. Do you have a... Uh, it, it occurs to me. We didn't have our uh, momentous uh, mayonnaise chugging <laughs> Oh, God. Do we have to sit here and drink mayonnaise together? Do, do, we, do we have mayonnaise for the chugging? Well, I have one, but I don't think we can both... Uh, we can't split the mayo. Wait, we can wait for this one to go. All right, well, we'll wait until we, we, we can toast. <laughs> we'll, have a, we'll have a mayonnaise toast. <laughs> That's gross. But that's funny. half of a that's most of a BLT right there. There you go. Mm. I accidentally uh, made a piece of uh, accidentally made a staircase, which I'm just gonna carry around with me for fun. Oh, I've been going to the lake. I mean, need to be going to the river. Yes. Rivers and lakes, same difference. Different things. I mean, it's just 
fresh water, whatever. Yes, I, I made quite the detailed spreadsheet. That's actually impressive that you, you spreadsheeted that yourself. I thought you got like a guide. <laughs> well, I mean, I used the guide to... <laughs> well, yes, I know you didn't have the knowledge in your head, but the formatting was surprisingly good. It's a list of fish. Yeah. It's a flished. I was actually thinking when I was sitting here looking at the flished before we started streaming, I thought very seriously about color coding it. So like mm. any of the fish that are only available in summer, just putting the word summer highlighted in yellow or putting your little X highlighted in yellow so that you could at a glance see like the puffer fish is only available in the summer. So mm. like if you don't get that done in the summer, you are donezo. Yeah, so I just look at the summer column and see what fish are are in it and then go from there. Fine. I guess as our resident fisher person, you yeah. don't have to have the list color coded if you we, don't want to. But. We got a slippery, probably catfish here. Don't get so slippery, friend. There we go. Catfish! Hey, look at that. 56 inches. Let's see. I believe that's what they call a big catfish. <laughs> Is that a, an official fisherman's term? It's an official uh, fishing hobo term. I see, yes. And we got the first chub of the stream. Yay! <laughs> everybody take a drink, I guess. <laughs> Happy chub stream, everybody. Happy chub day. Chubs for all. Whoa. Another. Oh no, another super slippery uh, catfish. But this one got away. Dave, is there anything in Dark Souls that you put thousands of hours into Dark Souls, but just never learned to do? You just, you know, you're not playing it right, but you just never figured it out. Um. um I guess I could give you the reason I'm asking while you yeah, think about it. That's... I have played hundreds upon hundreds of hours of. Stardew Valley and I have still never learned to block with my sword. Mm. I accidentally block all the time, but I have never, <laughs> just like I can't parry in Dark Souls, in the little bit of Dark Souls that I struggle to play, can't parry in any game, it turns out. I suppose that in all of my hours of Dark Souls, I've forgotten how to use a shield. Yeah. <laughs> <That's, laughs> I, just, I just don't do that anymore. When uh, playing Elden Ring, I found myself, um, whenever I was in a, a spot of some difficulty, I had to remind myself, use a shield, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you no longer need a shield in Dark Souls? Are you just too good at it to need one? Uh, it's just beneficial in a lot of ways to not have one. It's it's a mm. lot of weight you don't have, so you can roll uh, faster. And, sure. And I guess, technically speaking, I do equip the... Grass Crest Shield for the Stamina Buff. I just don't actually use it. Woo! Kai, I think you may be mistaking my concern with how to do it and not with ability to execute. But yeah, genuinely, I don't know if I've ever actually sat down and like learned it. The neat thing about Xbox controllers and keyboards is they both have an A button. <laughs> you have triggers, though. I don't have triggers. There you go. We've both got A button, B button, X and Y. One of the cool things, I, be I don't actually know if this was a in 1.5, but I believe 1.6 has full controller remapping. Uh, which, as I have learned from video game corners of the internet, is a good accessibility tool. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I suppose, yes, all of us here do have uh, an abundance of triggers. Yeah. Specifically, Catherine's controller only has two. <laughs> what a lucky controller. <laughs> this controller doesn't have to go to therapy all that often. <laughs> Kai was one of your triggers, my uh, crop organization schema. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Oh, never mind. I thought I was going to eat some... Uh, mayonnaise without you, but I brought leeks. That's right. For this. For Le just such an occasion. 
We have to have our, our nightly mayo chug before we go to bed. Okay, I draw the line at doing it nightly. That's just money <laughs> we're throwing down the toilet. It, but, but it's so romantic. Ugh. Have a hot glass of mayo before bed. <laughs> Gross. Mm. Speaking of, I think we just found some people's triggers. Yeah. <laughs> Trigger fetish. Gross. Ooh, I oh. got, I got, I'm getting juked by this catfish here. This, this is a juke fish. I may not make it to the ladder in this level. Level 19 is the worst. Sorry about the bug sounds, if that's a bummer for anybody. I have actually turned the animal sounds off on my uh, upstairs save because it bothers our cats when they hear my digital cat meow. Yes, our analog cats are, <laughs> are opposed to the sound of any digital cats. They're, Ooh, I made it. They're analog purists. <laughs> Babe, what's wrong? You've hardly touched your hot mayo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just feeling too okay to ruin my mood like that. Hey, here's something I haven't tested in multiplayer, um, but does... You should double check that the elevator progress I've made works for you. Oh, we'll find out. And then once you have, because I've gotten to level 20 in the, whatever it is, ghost fish, you can pick mm. up at level 20. Okay. I imagine once I get to level 10 in fishing, which I assume is going to happen any minute now, <clears throat> uh, I'm probably going to start becoming a mine bum. Oh, fun. Oh, because you just won't have any more fishing to fish? Eh, well, eventually, I'll, once I get to level 10 and then... Once I get to having caught all of the required fish in a season, mm. then may as well start doing other things. Okay, if you desperately want, when you come home, there's new fresh mayo, and we can uh, yeah. make a clip for the internet of us <laughs> co-chugging mayo, <laughs> and then no more. Um, to your question, I have not, not done mods at all, but it is my understanding that one of the most popular mods is one that simply eliminates the fishing game altogether. <laughs> um, last stream, I referenced one of my friends who has called Dave's a uh, psychopath for enjoying the fishing minigame so much. And, uh, one of the, they said that they, one of the reasons they hadn't started 1.6 yet is because they hadn't set up their mods and okay. they need the fishing mod, so... All right, come home fast so we can drink our mayo and go to sleep. Whoops, almost threw a salmon berry in the river. Ugh, I gotta catch something better than algae to end this day. Okay, well, it's 12.20, so... <laughs> Got you, plenty of time. You decide on your priorities. My priorities are... Whatever this uh, sluggish fish is. It's a slugfish. I, I'm just home holding a piece of slime over my head, wishing that my husband would come home and drink mayonnaise with me. <laughs> I'll have you know I got a record 28-inch bream while you've been <laughs> chastising me. And instead, he's just out at the lake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way. You coming from the north? N no. I'm coming from the river. Well, are you going through the bus stop or through Robbins to get home? I am coming oh. through our property. I see. Um, okay. Yeah, we're, we're not going to make it for, for <laughs> mayonnaise time tonight. All right. All right. All right. Bump. Go to sleep. Sure. We'll, we'll have, we'll have hot mayo in the morning. Oh God. Hot mayo for, that's the only thing worse than mayo is hot mayo for breakfast. <laughs> We, uh, that's some, yeah, I mean, 40 money worth of daffodils has got to be a lot of daffodils. Yeah, I mean, you pl that's what you plant forageables for is easy money that you didn't have to spend any output on. <laughs> One, didn't I, uh, I know I've collapsed You passed out your... on the floor next to the bed, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I ever straight up just didn't make it. Oh, that's right, you got to give me some of your... Give me some hot mayo. All right, hang on. I some left hot it. hot mayo action. I left it in the machine. Oh, you get it. I'm My inventory's full. Mayonnaise. All right, ready? Uh, all right, let me... Oops. Bring up the... All right, and... Three, two, one. Mayo. Drink oh, no. mayo? Okay. And three... Okay. It, we tried to give it... Chug, chug. Oh. 
good enough. Wahoo! We did it! Hot mayo chug! <laughs> Everybody's favorite corner of the internet. <laughs> Blah. And this update was entirely yes, worth everything it. Everything was worth it. I hope Concerned Ape is happy. <laughs> uh, ooh, this is a... Okay, we have we have four chub in here. Do we need any chub in here anymore? Um, you can check the community center. I can in a second. Oh, stupid tiny inventory. We have twelve thousand dollars. We should. Do you want a backpack or can I go get a backpack? I already got my backpack. Your ten thousand dollar backpack or your two thousand? How many slots do you have? Do you have two or three? Oh, I only have two. Yeah. Um. Oh, I want the. Uh, I want a fishing rod. Which one? The $7,500 one? Yeah. That's my flavor. Fine. Uh, catfish. All right, there's a catfish in the box. Yay. And now I'm going to sell a lot of fish. I like how you didn't have time to sell anything on your way home. You just careened into the farm and threw yourself into bed. <laughs> That's. Is there any other way to play this game? I don't know it. Man, tomorrow morning when I wake up at 6 to feed the cats, I'm gonna, you know, sleepily feed the cats in the dark and then go into the fridge and then pull out a <laughs> jar of mayonnaise and just stand there by the light of the fridge <laughs> just chugging my mayonnaise. It reminds me, I haven't seen Schmaple yet today. Schmaple! Schmaple! Are they up here by the bowl, maybe? Are they uh, in my, uh, are they praising the, uh, no, Schmaple is not in the, uh, Flamingo Shrine. Oh, no. Schmaple! Where'd Schmaple go? I'm, like, genuinely worried for our digital cat now. <laughs> well, find Schmaple. Is it because I spend so much time worrying about our analog cats? <laughs> <laughs> I found a chicken in the grass. Hey, pet it. It's on the other side of the fence. Oh, okay. Well, then. It is unreachable. As we all know, fences are impenetrable. Yeah. Horses. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I imagine uh, Schmaple would be unhappy with our offering of mayonnaise <laughs> as a treat. Schmaple, come get your hot mayo. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Pre-sprinkler stardew is just a test of patience and perseverance. Like, how badly do you want to play this farming sim? One of my toxic flaws is that I have never, ever... Well, that's not true, not ever, but I hardly ever upgrade my watering can. I just make do until I get sprinklers. Schmaple! Yeah, where did our kitten cat go? Eh, it'll turn up eventually. Diddle, Bell, I'm, I'm not sure which, um, which pronoun think, and amalgam think... of both of our cats would prefer. Oh, that's a fair point. <laughs> yeah, in game, I think the cat's always a girl, but uh, yeah, it's weirder when it's Schmaple. You played any of the Harvest Moon's Rune Factory games? No, not I anyway. I do know that um, Stardew was kind of made as a Harvest Moon spiritual successor. The good Dave. <clears throat> I have not either. Okay, well, Schmaple will turn up eventually. They're on a journey. Did you... Were you going to get the backpack, or did you decide not to? Oh, I might. There. Well, I'm getting a fishing rod. Well, then I won't, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I probably put... I probably put 7,500 money worth of fish in the box this morning anyway. So That's fine. You can just do it tomorrow. No, I mean, clearly a lot of people, in, I mean, Eric Barone, Baroni loved to Harvest Moon so much. Um, that's why he decided to make a similar game. And I think in a lot of people's eyes, an improvement. I kind of wish I had a video game that I could say was sort of my childhood, but the closest I have is the, um, I mean, that's not true. I played uh, Math Blaster and Logical Journey and Zumbinis and a couple of Carmen San Diego games a lot as a kid. I was going to say, Zumbinis has quite a lot of <laughs> fans on the internet. Oh, I love More Zumbinis. than you think so. Hmm. I see no willy. Which I appreciate on the basis this is a family-friendly <laughs> stream. 
So many willy jokes. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect when you name a semen willy? Oh, no. I guess I'm fishing at the ocean today. What kind of energy are you bringing to this? <laughs> Chaotic, of course. Yes. Hi, Linus. I guess I'm not buying a fishing rod today. You want to get yourself a... Ooh. Get yourself something nice. Nah. Hop on down to the to the market. Thank you for letting me get my treat myself something. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Willie the chub hunting semen. That's I'm. Um, that's 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 worse than hot mayo. We're gonna write a series of short stories about Willie the chub hunting semen. <laughs> Just reading those words is worse than the idea of drinking hot mayo. <laughs> okay, I'll test that theory later. <laughs> Please don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I'm, I'm. I'm rarely, if ever, in the mood for hot mayo. Okay. You don't even like regular style mayo. Correct. I got the deluxe pack. My life has been improved so much. I'm only slightly positive on eggs in general. Yeah. Let alone whatever unholy process has been applied to eggs to make mayo <laughs> listen you're you saying ferment them <laughs> you're talking a lot about anti-mayo for somebody who just this morning chugged an entire bottle of it <laughs> for, cl for clout <laughs> it's it's tradition it's uh Easy. what's the what's the word um yeah superstition that's it ah. you gotta i must you gotta you know psych yourself up for a good day of fishing Let's see. What am I doing here? <laughs> nope. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I got my weird... Oh, it's still spring. Good heavens. <laughs> I, I suppose you're probably in, like, <clears throat> year 11 I of your I just started year game. 2. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, I'm genuinely forgetting, like, what what is going... Where are we? What's happening? We also discovered uh, off stream that you can have multiple pets as of the new uh, 1.6 update. I wasn't going to spoil. I'm going to try hard not to spoil stuff, but oh my God. Yes. Marnie sent me a letter that you can adopt more pets. Yes. Yes, you can. You can adopt more pets. Marnie sends you a letter. I got it in spring of year two where she points out that you can you can adopt more pets. There's a processing fee and that they each have to have their own individual outside water bowl, which is why Robin offers um construction of outside water bowls <laughs> can you have multiple husbands too let's try <laughs> i mean i'm sure I'm, I'm positive there's a mod for that <laughs> i don't even have to look it up i'm just i know that exists <laughs> some of us only do what's original what's in the game <laughs> um and then something else that i found even before i realized you could have extra additional pets and something i'm very excited about is that you can have Marnie sells cat towers and, and <laughs> dog houses. So you can fill your house with cat towers and then let your, your multiple cats. One thing I don't know is if he's actually put in an animation for... Oh, hang on. I got a new sword. I'm going to get rid of this old sword. I don't know if there's an animation for cats actually climbing the cat tower. That would be... I think I would just die of cuteness. But also that would be very cool. You can have a light colored one or a dark colored one. Do your kids do anything or are they still useless? No offense, children. Yeah, I've never, I've never even, oh, it's 7 p.m. Maybe it's too late to go to the mines. I'll just go fishing. You can have kids in this game? Yes, you can have kids in this game. Why? <laughs> Look who just forgot that the mine carts don't work. Because it's literally the 20th day of the game. Um, as far as I know, kids in this game are still useless. And Dave, the, I don't know the answer. It's just, it's a life simulator. And in life, you can have kids. <laughs> I have I have no insights for you beyond that. If this I, is a life simulator, where's the headphone store? I, I cannot speak to the urged parent. <laughs> Me installing the child labor mod. <laughs> that's That's legit. I can see that. Like, listen, if you're going to live on this farm, you're going to pay your dues. That's, 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 that's why farmers have kids. They need more uh, farm that's, I mean, that's legitimately true. That's <laughs> very Midwest farmer, farmer vibes. Yep. 
get kicked out when you're 18. Don't come back until you're married and pregnant. <laughs> Alright, that's me chopping down wood until I am out of energy. I'm carrying this aquamarine around with me because we don't have that bundle of the community center open yet. I think you'll find it's pronounced aquamarine. I, I would, I'm going to have to disagree with you on that one. <laughs> Why? Because I'm wrong? Yeah. That, that is a pretty good reason to disagree with me, I guess. Not the worst. Um, I don't think I got any special fish today. I got an, irradi an irradiated herring, and ooh, an irradiated anchovy, and flounder. What are they putting in that ocean? <laughs> I don't know, but purple is not a natural color for fish, presumably. <laughs> I'm also going to sell some fiber and some seaweed, because I have them, and why not? I mean, do me a favor and hang on to the seaweed from now on. I like to get a fish pond going for easy money pretty soon, but... Mm. Uh, it's, I won't weep over spilled, I won't cry over spilled seaweed. Um, can I offer mayo to the, <laughs> to the flamingo? <clears throat> You're the one who's setting up your flamingo shrine. I don't think the game is set up for that to be like your, your deity. <laughs> Mods. There's, there's no built-in sacrifice mod <laughs> or sacrifice mode rather. Shmaple. Oh, I oh. think they might be in bed with me. Shmaple's in bed with me. Oh, hooray! We found Shmaple. Yay! I don't think <clears> you can <throat> pet them when they're asleep, which is ridiculous. Everyone knows you can give cats the best scritches when they're asleep. <laughs> you can. You got a heart? Mm-hmm. Aw. Kitten. It's only 11, so I don't know what to do for the next three hours. Just go to sleep, man. But... <laughs> But then it'll be tomorrow. Daylight. Okay, well I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Since I can't go to or since I can't stay awake, I'm just gonna steal your lamp. <laughs> right? You steal it. You there held a salmon berry in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> there. Now I have your lamp in my pocket. Congrats. Not only do I have your lamp in my pocket, but I'm also happy to see you. Aw. It's both things. Aw. Okay, 3,000 money worth of fish. Not Sorry. as much as I was thinking. But... Sorry, it'll be a couple of days before you get your fishing pole. There's a lot of fish, too. <laughs> Grr. All right, that's fine. I'm excited. Next time you go see Willie, you should see if he's offering you the fish smoker recipe yet. He might be. I mean, it's $10,000. I don't know if you want to mm. spend... Probably you would, you would want to spend that first on your... Uh, new fishing pole. I saw a crow fly by. Ooh, I think I just leveled up in farming. Can I sell furniture? No. no. Yeah, I'm annoyed at all the crap that Gunther gives me that I can't do anything with. Like, I don't need a giant green singing stone anywhere, but thank <clears> you. <throat> how much wood does a uh, wood chuck chuck? I mean, how much <laughs> wood does it take to build a chest? 50. 50. Alright, let's see how... We're growing trees for a reason, ostensibly. I hope everybody... Oh, sorry, Laura. Um, I hope everybody's impressed with my Stardew knowledge. That I just know some of these numbers off the top of my head. Give me some wood. And some sap, apparently. How much you, wood do I have? For all wood. the wood you get, you must also take the sap. Are you happy now I'm doing something that isn't fishing? Congrats. Is it because you need a chest for all your fish? Uh, it's a chest. Uh, I need a chest for all of my furniture that I'm throwing away. <laughs> I see. Because it's it's not fishing related, so why would I have it in my house? What would the point of it be? It's not it's not fishing related. It's, it's not, it doesn't exist in service to the uh, Flamingo Shrine. <laughs> What's <laughs> no, even the point? Those are your only two <laughs> driving policies at this point. Chest. Chest made. See, this is why I'm not a pure 100% gamer, is because I can't remember to do all the things at once. Like, I came over here to refill my drinking, nope, my watering can, and then I pet my chickens instead and got their eggs and still forgot to fill my watering can. So here I go again. This no. is why I would be a terrible speedrunner. I guess 
Sorry, that's too many things to remember. Did you put a chest right in the middle of a tillable? Okay. It looked fine. Okay. I don't see an issue. Sure. It's a box full of windows. <laughs> and a, a fireplace, inexplicably. Some of the physics doesn't quite work out. Uh, cookies, probably. Ooh, rusty sword. Can I just take that and jump straight into the mine? I doubt it. I think you're probably, well, you're probably going to get a cutscene from what's-his-face anyway, and then he'll give you a sword, and you'll have two swords. Mm. The mine is pretty low barrier to entry. Just do your cutscene with Marlin, I think. That's a fish. Yeah, it's Marlon. <laughs> don't try to fish Marlin. I don't think he'd appreciate it. I think he'll kill you, actually. <laughs> Especially considering your combat level <coughs> zero and Marlin's whole thing is that he's the adventurer, I'm pretty sure he'd kill you good. I Ooh. could take him. Uh, the way Schmaple is sitting behind this tree, all I can see is the hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, what else is there to do? How much money do we have? Ah, uh, so close to the. Sorry, yeah. Guess I'll just have to go fishing. Yep. Yo, dog. Hey, I was gonna ask you, what is the actual origin of that? Like, what what is the original blank in I heard you liked blank in your blank? Um, I don't know what the original noun is, but I want to say it's from Pimp My Ride. Yeah, I was I was pretty sure, like that sounds right to me. But yeah, I don't know what the actual thing is. Ah, there's people in places here. Who, who allowed these people to visit my fishing sanctuary? You know this is a village, right? A fishing village. <laughs> a people village. <laughs> heard you like mayo in your mayo. I heard you like heat in your mayo. <laughs> Gross. Hey, Willie. Give me some bait. Yeah, I have the, uh, I can purchase the, or it's, <laughs> the. it is available to purchase the fish smoker recipe. Yeah. I, I can't purchase it. Nope. Because it'd be uh, pricey. Yeah. Can't even afford the $7,500 uh, fishing pole, let alone the $10,000 recipe. Nope. But yeah, the fish smoker, I think, is going to be a... Nope. Carts don't work. The fish smoker is going to be good for us with your many, many fish. I tried it with... I purposely found a sunfish. A, a neutral quality sun... Two neutral quality sunfish. And I smoked one and not the other. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. Smoke them if you got them. Yep. So yeah, there's the fish de... Nope, there's the fish smoker, and there's also the fruit dehydrator. The <laughs> fish dehydrator? That's... <laughs> that's gross. That's what, like, kippers are, right? It's not uh, just dehydrated fish. It's like fish that's been turned into bacon. I guess? We got an ew in chat, and we've said enough gross things. <laughs> I'm not, like, 100% sure which thing that's in relation to, but yes. We're ew for sure. <laughs> No, uh, we, we do not stand surstrumming here in the, at the Good Dave channel. Ooh. Give me a book. <laughs> Ugh, a person got in my way. Does it make sense for me to play Stardew Valley while watching y'all play? Um, yes. I mean, I don't know what... I literally stopped playing Stardew Valley upstairs so that I could come down here and start playing <laughs> Stardew Valley. Like, If you had two more hands. Yeah, for sure. Could I have two games going? So yeah, go for it, friend. Especially, I mean, not that you're overly worried about spoilers, but you're ahead of where we are for sure. So, the One only... player, two controllers. Yes. That's going to be my new speed. I'm going to submit my new speed run. <laughs> Did you install some sort of NPC mod? I did not. They're always are, here, honey. Are these, are these people new to the 1.6 update? No. They live here. In I fact, did not authorize this. They've lived here longer than you have. They're scaring the fish. <laughs> I like the look of this spot right here. You know what? Here. I, sorry. I forgot. I don't have bait on this dumb fish hook yet, so... 
you come and get this fish in the vines when you feel like it. <laughs> Standing here trying to fish without bait, which is one of the sillier things a person can do. Whoops, I cast the wrong direction. Twice. Good job. Never mind, it didn't happen. Nobody saw it. It's not being saved on the internet forever. Nope. And I'm definitely going to remember to edit that out of the VOD, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. In addition to this long conversation about it. Mmm, a perfect bullhead. No, I could be making bug meat steaks. Mmm. I don't have, uh... I can't make bait yet. Oh, I need ten? That blows. Isn't mayo, like, actually really good in this game, too? Doesn't it give you quite a lot oh, of health Oh, it's quite energizing, energy? yeah. I mean, it was definitely a waste for us to drink two of them for no reason. <laughs> We're not going to pretend that wasn't true. What about the different kinds of mayo? Like void mayo? What does that do for you? I have not actually tried to drink void mayo yet. That's a good question. I can't imagine it's good for you. I have <laughs> if, to. Maybe it's chipotle mayo. I'm assuming it's the same thing as like a red mushroom where it takes away health and energy. <laughs> Seems like the only responsible option. It just stares at you. I have a staring contest with the void mayo. <laughs> Don't stare into the void, it's dangerous. Mm. Oh god, worst part. I totally understand why menu pausing doesn't work in, in co-op, because what are you going to have it? pause for the other player all the time but the fact that the bugs don't the monsters don't pause when you're eating food in the mines when you're in multiplayer just seems like impossibly difficult that's how are you a, supposed to do how are you ever supposed to save yourself that's a that's a dark souls difficulty right there yeah. Ooh, i'm apparently questing for green slimes and didn't even know it come here guys let's hang out Shoot. <laughs> Shoot, she says. Let me, uh, there we go. I'm gonna, st I, it'll simplify things if I timestamp all of the, the moments you accidentally swear. <laughs> Sorry, honey. <laughs> I was. Sorry, I, family on the family friendly <laughs> channel. <laughs> Would you, I, you listen to the full five hour stream before for the time I dropped the F bomb? I didn't listen explicitly f for finding your accidental swears, but I realized when you dropped them, it's like, oh, I can make a note of this <laughs> <laughs> and edit this, this out of the This is gonna work mod. out for everybody. And then I remembered that I have a button over here to write some timestamps to a text file. There we go. I ne oops. I nearly caught myself that time. You were just saying hit, because I'm fishing and I am doing it. Yes, I was absolutely reading your screen, for yep. sure. Right, apparently I'm looking for green slimes. Hit me up, kids. I accept every quest that comes in through the general store, even ones I really have no intention of doing. <laughs> So usually my journal is just like a quest graveyard. Like, oh, Demetrius asked me for a melon a year ago. <laughs> and it's funny because when you do finally come through, they're never like, um, excuse me. I mean, some obviously a lot of quests expire, but some of the basic ones don't expire. And I think it would be funny if they're like, thanks. I am <laughs> definitely no longer in need of this thing. <laughs> I, uh. I made something else for that dinner party last year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, Demetrius is specific. Ooh, green slimes. Demetrius is, I think, specifically looking for a, a melon for science. And I like the idea of him being like, um, yeah, that grant proposal got rejected <laughs> because you never got me a melon. <laughs> and my career is destroyed now. Yeah, I'm... Uh... I mean, Robin and Demetrius already have some marital problems, and him losing the grant is probably not great for that. Demetrius is kind of a ding-dong. Like, you give Robin a hundred hardwood so she can make this really nice, like, big four-poster bed, 
And Demetrius is like, what is the point of that? And you stand there and then Robin asks you your opinion and you have to be like, I think it's nice. <laughs> and then Demetrius gets all angry. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad Stardew Valley has depth, but I kind of wish it were some from time to time a little less deep. <laughs> is there a, a depth removal mod? <laughs> Please stop <clears throat> a merit other people's marital problems removal mod. Kai requests that you come up with a very funny bug squishing sound to bleep over me when I swear. <laughs> oh no, I'm starting to feel exhausted. Yeah, it's 1120 and I only have, well, I probably don't need all these slimes today, come to think of it, so. I guess I was chopping wood earlier today. What a waste Run of energy. Away! Run away! Uh, <sighs> yeah, well, no, I just ate a salmon berry. Let's have one more cast. Let's catch something good. I got five more levels in the mine, and I have almost 40 mm, copper for my troubles, so I'm outie. Fishy fish. There it is. Yes, it's getting late. Ooh, a leak. And it's a chub. Great job. 23-inch chub. It was worth waiting till 12.20 to catch that. <laughs> and now the long march home in the dark. Man, it truly didn't occur to me how annoying it was going to be for other people to watch me cycle through my backpack in the least um, purposeful way. Like, that's <laughs> one of the weirdest things that I do is I struggle really hard to navigate directly to the thing that I need. I'm, I'm, it's possible I haven't ever internalized because the trigger and the shoulder button do different things. Like one moves through left and right and one cycles through your three sets of slots. And it's possible I still don't know which one. And so I just kind of randomly mash the, sh the trigger and the shoulder until I get what I need. And I didn't realize I was going to be streaming that particular set of neuroses to the internet. <laughs> That's what Stardew is for. Broadcasting your neuroses. Woo! Is that going to be the episode title? <laughs> See, I made it. Level three farming. Woohoo! 1800 money for the fish. Oh, level four farming. Wait, did I do two farming level ups in one day? Oh. And level three mining. That was a productive day for me. You had a lot to sleep on, apparently. I can make jam jars! The whole game is changing now. Jarm jarm. A jarm jarm. Hey, rain day. All right, time to time to catch my uh, Demetrius. Good news. Breakthrough research. Spare you the technical details. How convenient. Empty cave. Uh, oh, that's right. What's the uh, what's the wise thing to do with the cave? Well, okay, previously, the internet told me that it was mushrooms, but there's actually something new in this game, a different way to collect mushrooms, so definitely go fruit bats. Okay. Mm because you can grow mushrooms with a moss stump, which you can mm. do once you make moss, which now that I can't remember if you have to wait when moss happens in, this, in the new version. I already have forgotten bits of the new game. Which is upsetting because I've only been playing it for like a week. <laughs> Alright, pretty soon here I'm going to have to take a day and reorg and make some attempt at organizing um, our chests here. Because this is nonsense. Well, I have ordered bats for you. Thank you. I didn't I specify if they were fruit bats or vegetable bats or mineral bats, but... I think they're generally fruit bats. non-Newtonian fluid bats. <laughs> All right. Einstein... Uh, what is it? Einstein Bose condensate bats, I think is... What, what about our relationship makes you think I would know that? <laughs> uh, Truly. Like, let me hear it. I, uh... I, I talk a lot. <laughs> okay, fair play on the, honestly on that one. <laughs> um, no, that's a good river jelly. Don't eat the river jellies. You need them later. Oh, what? Um, primarily you need some of each kind to do the 
uh, fish smoker. Mm. Did not know. All right, mm, trout soup. Uh, oof, deluxe bait is some pricey stuff. Oh heck, I need to unequip. Uh, can I unequip the? Yes, I can. There we go. I took the bait off my old rod so that I can put it on my new rod. Hey, I hope you're okay with me running the organizational structure of our whole farm here. <laughs> no, I demand that I do it. Uh, cork bomber. Which which kind of bomber do I want? Um, trap bomber. That's probably the way to go. Or... Uh, causes fish to escape slower. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> Time to equip all the good stuff. Like what? The, the bobber and the bait. Ah, I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> it's, it's, I probably, I probably shouldn't ask questions if I'm absolutely not listening. That's that's how you know she's been married to me for so many years. She she knows when to not listen. She's, she's just doing his normal, his normal stuff. He's just mumbling words. He just, being, just does uh, that sometimes. Being a guy. <laughs> doing his thing. Just guy things. Hot mayo, so on and so forth. You know, the cool guy stuff. Yeah. Hot mayo and 25 inch chubs and. I do remember uh, you showing me that you can change the bobbers in ways. You should. I, I don't remember when it becomes doable, but if you go into Willie's store and check out the far upper right, we'll determine what. Uh, if you have that option as of today. I genuinely don't know when I know when it became available. Kai, my, I'm currently fishing with a little tiny cat, a little tiny kitty head as my bobber. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, that's the furniture one. Okay, fine, that can stay. <clears throat> I need some eels. Okay. Ooh, we can make, oh, we can make sprinklers. I'm off to the mines. To get <laughs> enough stuff to make sprinklers. To the sprinkler store. To the sprinkler shop. Why it's in the mines, who knows. Taking a lot of food with me, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go get a lot of... I'm gonna try to get to iron, because that's the point. I have plenty of copper right now, but I have no iron. I have 15 copper bars. I'm off to see the... the cave slimes. Actually, how many days do I have? I might have already lost that. Ooh, I got some iron ore. I still don't know why I have the make a silo quest still. Like, I definitely made a silo. Do you still have the make a silo quest? Uh, Feeding animals? Do you, did you achieve that one? I will let you know as soon as I catch this fish. Okay, that's fair. Spoilers, I'm fishing. <laughs> hey everybody, Dave's fishing. I can actually see your screen very small today, which I couldn't the last stream, and I'll just every time I look uh, over, be like, oh look, he's fishing again. Jody needs a cauliflower. Uh, I need to craft a furnace. This is interesting. Where we ha <laughs> <laughs> Have you met zero people? You've met Willie. You've met one person? I, I have not yet reached level one farming. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> That's bad, man. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Hooray! Oh, I got 27 out of 28 people. Oh, wow, okay. It's kind of surprising. I don't know who the last one is. I mean, I'm at 27 out of 28, too, so it's possible it's... Is it the wizard? No, we both talked to the wizard. Hmm. Certain people don't count either, like Gunther, for some reason. Like, he's not considered a part of the town in a way that's kind of sad. <laughs> like, he lives in the library, but he doesn't get to go to the festivals, and he doesn't count as a person to meet. It's just sort of... I just kind of feel bad for him. He just works in Stardew Valley. He doesn't live there. I guess. He comes in... Well, he doesn't come in from the Calico, the Calico Desert. That's the only other sort of place we know about. The fact that there's a sound effect to help everyone hear that I'm cycling through my items irrationally. 
Like, oh, that noise is Catherine not knowing what she's doing. That howling noise that I heard, or no, the doot 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 doot. Hmm. What was what was the uh, the howling noise I just heard then? I mean, I'm in the mines, so some sort of. Well, I can't just... hear your audio though. Oh. Then I don't know, man. I think it's just a rainy day noise. Mm. Oh, that kind of spooky ghost noise. Mm -hmm. This is such a game. Uh, noises we don't even understand. Here it is again. I got an ancient seed artifact. I haven't gotten that in. Oh, heck yes. Eel. That is a big deal. Hooray. To be able to start growing ancient seeds in spring one. Well, no, I mean, I probably have to wait until I have a greenhouse, but still. <laughs> hot diggity. Wahoo. That's excellent, Aunt. Excellent luck. Hot diggity mayo. <laughs> You take that back. <laughs> Ooh, I'm, I didn't check the luck today, but I'm having a very good luck day here in the mines. The save, oh, the save I was playing on my Switch before 1.6 came out, I was on like year three and I never had found the ancient seed artifact. I'd gotten an ancient seed fruit, I think, from the traveling cart and was able to start turn it into seeds from there. But I still hadn't found the artifact and now I found the Asian seed artifact on the 22nd of spring. That's some truly good luck. <clears throat> also, on the basis that it is currently spring, I assume it's going to snow at some point. It's spring in Sardi Valley. It's not spring in Wisconsin, so you're fine. Mm. Yes, I made the mistake of putting our snow shovels away two weekends ago, um, and the entire state cursed me for it because we got like three inches of snow the following weekend. So it was you. It was absolutely <clears throat> me. My friend Eric at work, uh, who is a custodian and thus is part of his job is shoveling snow, he was genuinely upset, I think, <laughs> when I told him that I'd put my snow shovels away. He's like, come on, what were you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna report you to HR for that. Truly, yeah. Uh, I've created an annoying work environment for him. <laughs> come on, I'm level 29, let's do this. I'm so close. Whoa, another eel. Keep one more than you need, because eventually it'll be a willy quest. Give him an eel. Ooh, 81 inch eel. Ooh, I went up in mining, or combat maybe even. Time to eat a potato. Just to snack on a raw whole potato. I don't know, no. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew, or just throw the whole thing raw into your mouth like you're <laughs> eating a piece of popcorn. Ooh, a piece of iron. Pocket them, wash them, stick them in your mouth. <laughs> Please to give me a ladder. Ooh, there it is. Ha. One would argue you don't even need to wash a potato. Everyone knows the dirt is the tastiest part of the potato. Mm. It gives it texture. Mm -hmm. And they call it a mine. A mine. Do I want to go further? Um, I have plenty of inventory space. We'll see what my options are. Oh no. I I hate doing these. Level 30 to 40 before you have a glow ring is darn near impossible. Do I have a recipe for glow ring? Oh, I'm not going to look in the mines because looking... Okay. I'm going to get this little piece of copper that I can see and then run away. I feel like I remember getting a glow ring almost immediately in my casual playthrough of uh, a pandemic ago. I think I got a glow ring pretty early in my 1.6 upstairs, but yeah, it's it's a, that there's 10 levels in the mine that are in almost complete darkness. Like you can't see the ladders, you can't see the monsters. It is just not doable. Ah, are you we doing mostly split screen still? Mhm. Mm Laura says she likes the designation of whose screen we're watching. <laughs> It's a, uh, an iterative process making this look 
fancy and or schmancy. Yes, we should. Um, we're open to feedback on if the split screen is too um, motion sick making. <laughs> if, if watching us like head in opposite directions from each other is annoying. Mostly my thinking is that people don't want to watch me fish incessantly. And you would feel nervous if the camera was just on you the entire time. Oh, that's <laughs> so. nice of you. <laughs> Oh, that's, we, that's the compromise. We planted rice earlier. I wonder if it's ready. How's our uh, our our chest crop coming in? I'm sorry. I planted that chest earlier. Oh, it's, it's the same. Chests don't grow. Well, wooden chests don't grow. <laughs> ba -na -na, ba -na -na. Family. <laughs> Listen, the the. Miracle of life is family friendly. <laughs> uh, when you get back, you're going to be able to see the new organizational schema that we have here. I don't know. I'm going to be I'm going to be a uh, pretty uh uh, uh pr 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 Oh, you're going to be running in at yeah. top speed. Yep. <laughs> I don't have any any time to rubberneck. No time to spare. <laughs> don't talk to me. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm gonna collapse. Everybody, leave me alone. <laughs> oh darn! I Good. I can sleep and read the chat. <laughs> hey, any questions you want to ask? I would love for you to get into Stardew Valley. It would be so chill and fun. Um, but don't necessarily take the way Dave's playing as, like, becoming <laughs> familiar with the game. <laughs> if you want to learn how to fish, I can... Yeah, if you want to learn how to fish, but if you want to learn how to play, maybe watch my stream inst my screen instead. There's got to be a teach a man to fish joke. Like, teach a man to... Show them Dave's screen. He fishes for a day. Show them Catherine's screen and she learns how to play the game. It's one thirty, my dude. I'm selling fish. Ugh. When you see how much money we get, you'll 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 thank me and such. I suppose. Where's Schmeeple? Your dive is mighty to bait. All right. Level two combat. Level eight fishing. Ooh, I can make a deluxe worm bin. <laughs> and a barbed hook. Interesting. What's that about? Oh, that was not as much money as I was. How much are eels? I thought eels were better. Mm. Um, I don't remember. I feel like generally, like, fish is a good money maker compared to other stuff, but it's not as much money as you want it, if it's still as any as you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to, uh, first we need to do, where's, and we can't. We're prepping for a break here, but we can't go on break until we've pet Shmaple. Shmaple! Oh, Hi, Shmaple. Meow. Hi, Shmaple. <laughs> All right, we're going to take our first break of uh, the stream. Uh, if this is your first time here, this is uh, this is what we do. We have comfy, cozy times with, with some nice, pleasant games. Uh, and if that sounds like your jam, I recommend a like, follow, subscribe, etc. It's fast and free, and it'll keep you connected for all of our comfy, cozy adventures in the future. Um, we're gonna we're gonna stand up, do some stretches, get some water. Uh, if you're able to do any of those things, I recommend that you do, because your body loves them all really very much. And when we come back, I'm gonna be fishing. How about you? Are you gonna do any fishing? Probably in not. In this fishing simulator? Probably not. No. I think you've got it taken care of. But but. You're, you're just going to spend all your time with the uh, the non-fishing side quests, aren't you? <laughs> yes, the farming, you know. <laughs> See what I married. <laughs> Doesn't play Stardew right at all. Um, be back in just a little bit. Enjoy the kitten photos while we're away, and hang tight. Hey there, everybody. We are back. Thank you for waiting while we were away. <laughs> while we were away an hour ago. Shy Kai Guy with the uh, one month subscription, resubscription for a, an entire year. That's 12 months. That's how many minutes is that? 525,600. Thank you. <laughs> I, a, I, I knew you would know that. <laughs> that's a musical nerd right there for you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think maybe it's actually possible that that's not a correct number of 
why do you know that? Mm. There's there's a song from Rent that is 525,600 minutes and ostensibly, sorry, Laura, that's ostensibly count two for the day. Um, that, that that's the number of minutes in a year. I don't just have that many maths in my head. That's uh, just, a, that's musical theater knowledge, not actual nerd knowledge. Well, it is nerd knowledge. It's not math nerd knowledge. So do you like my new um, chest setup? Would you like the tour? Um, this one is coming in nicely. Great job. Yes, that's you. <laughs> so black is mining stuff. Ah. Blue is fishing stuff. Brown is foraging like wood and stuff. <laughs> this is green for spring and it's where spring stuff goes. And eventually we'll have a chest for each of the seasons. The end. Yay. <laughs> yes, Dave's going to be very interested in the fishing. <laughs> yeah, this one's in blue, so clearly chest. that's the fish chest. Oh, yeah. it actually is. Of course it is. It Hooray. Has, despite what Kai's protests, I actually have a system. Can I change the color? Why Please. would you do that? I think I can change the... No. Oh, yes, I can. It's a, a big bar. You don't, you, don't, you don't have a purple chest yet, do you? Well, purple doesn't fit with any of the of the colors that I need right now. Eventually, I tend to make a purple chest either for, like, inside stuff, like furniture and jewelry, or I make a purple chest for artisan goods. But right now, we don't have enough stuff to allow for artisan goods to need to be its own thing. Um, you said you needed seaweed, right? Eventually. And an eel. Yep. Okay. That's a big eel I'm putting aside for you. Well, thank you. I am going to go see uh, Gunther. Wait, did my... Oh, do bobbers run out? That... Yes, I think. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, it also doesn't make sense that when you, you fish up a piece of trash and then it takes away one of your, mm -hmm. one of your bait. Like, none of that makes sense. <laughs> and Laura, thank you for the resubscription for six months. <laughs> Much appreciated. She, she's not going to let Kai show her up. <laughs> like, I can be a friend. I can can't, be a good friend. <laughs> can't be having that. It's going to be a fight. Weird. Okay, I guess I'm not going to... I didn't... That, hmm. Bobber's like... The ones, like the cat one I bought from Willy, or like an extra bobber thing? It just, I, I bought a trapper mm. bobber, and it went away, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I think those run out eventually. That's weird. It probably says so when you bought it. Oh, speaking of Laura, so I wanted to speak on a little bit. Dave has made the accidental uh, bad decision of giving me space to pontificate on the internet about Stardew Valley. <laughs> um, but you said, like, it can be any kind of game you want, and it, it truly can. Like, you can make the game... There's there's actually quite a bit of story baked into this game. <laughs> um, if you make friends with all kinds of people, there are, like, different cutscenes that you get with different people at different heart events. So every... Every NPC... Whoop, 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 you can, you can reach a certain number of hearts with every NPC. And like there are challenges where, you know, how how quickly can you get to 10 hearts with all the NPCs? And and you can marry people and have storylines that way. There's like a whole thing where Shane gives you blue chickens. <laughs> and that's just like a story event that if you play the game to that, to that level. Kojiro! Boy, I don't know what that means. It's an ocarina of time thing. I see. Um... Or you can make it, like, basically... Oh, agency. You can make it sort of a min-max, like, how automated can I make my farm? Like, how can I make it so that I don't have to do anything myself? Um, we haven't gotten deep into Junimo lore, but there's, like, little tiny monster alien creatures. Um, and eventually you can get it so that they happily not... Um, slaverly um, <laughs> harvest, are, harvest, volunteers. Your, harvest your crops for you. It'd be nice if there was like a built-in mechanic where it's like they will eat one out of every ten har crops that they harvest as payment. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's getting a little surf and, and lord. <clears throat> they can live on your land as long as they harvest your, your stuff. And Maybe anyway. there's a bit of uh, undiscovered text where like they they nourish themselves on your discarded eyelashes or something while you sleep, <laughs> and that's their payment. Sure. Copyright-friendly harvest sprites. Um, 
And also, the game can be a, a, a cute, like, aesthetic game. Like, there are some streamers out there who their whole... Oh, I did this already. Their whole game is... their All their gameplay is based on um, decoration. Like, they, they get deeply into um, making their farm look gorgeous. <laughs> Where do my iron... But what about their fish? <laughs> That's other people... Mm. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right. You got to put makeup on your blobfish. Making our summer chest over here. Because I got melon seeds from Gunther and starfruit seeds. Heck yeah. So yeah, the that's truly one of the my favorite. And, and I usually play it as kind of a, I would say probably 75% just min maxing and maybe 25% story. Like I definitely, I've never, I've never married an NPC. I, I have never gotten above three or four hearts with anybody. I, this is maybe I'll tell Dave on stream. So, um, for the whole world to see, but I am thinking about marrying an NPC in my upstairs, in my upstairs, uh, upstairs safe. He just widened his eyes. Y'all whose butt must I kick? I Who, think, what, which NPC do I have to delete from your game? <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> okay, I'll just delete them all. That's fine. Listen, if you want to live in this weird ghost town, this weird <laughs> fish ghost town by yourself, you could do that, but I'm going to make friends with people. Something about weird fish ghost town is so positively Lovecrafty, and that I'm sure there's a mod for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cat's bagels, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% what you were so upset about. Is it that I've never married anyone? <laughs> Present company excluded. Except in real life. Oh, see, it is too dark. It's too dark. <laughs> the I assume the mine, not real life. Yes. <laughs> Although real life is also real quite, life is dark. Yeah. That's why we're playing Stardew. Yeah. Oh, good. A ladder. The faster I get out of these set of floors, the better. Yeah. Kai wants us to to mod a Bloodborne. Bloodborne Stardew mashup. <laughs> I need a better sword for this part of the game. I wonder if there's a mod where it's everything is normal except all of the uh, the enemy creatures from the mines are just everywhere <laughs> all the time. <laughs> oh, there's a wilderness farm where the monsters come to your farm at night. Hmm. I used to. I did a whole save on Wilderness Farm. I did not know that. Yeah. See, there's there's depth to this game that you've never even gotten close to. <laughs> I mean, I don't. <laughs> to be clear, I've never. Oh, that's true. You didn't claim otherwise. Yeah, I've, I've, I would. I I am. I could not be further from an expert <laughs> in Stardew, and I make no no such claim that I am one. I need a better sword. Even. For as much time as I've spent fishing in this game, I probably know shockingly little about fishing in this <laughs> game. <laughs> like, for instance, I just learned the bobbers run out. Yeah, right? There you go. In case, please don't feel like you need to adjust the brightness on your screen. This is just what happens when you're in this part of the game without a glow ring. The game can also just be like, there's there's so many challenge modes that you can decide to play for yourself. Like, you know, there's obviously a whole host of speedrunning categories. There's a challenge where you need to get 999 of every single item in the game. There's a speedrunner I follow who's been doing that for what feels like years now. God, 999 of everything? Yeah. Even... <laughs> <laughs> That's I, mm, even the uh, the super rare fish that only occur in under some special circumstances. I don't know what to tell you. I think, I mean, it's possible that you can. <laughs> Oh, that's actually an in-game mechanic, by the way. Turning your children into doves. <laughs> if you decide that you don't want your children anymore, one of the things in the sewer will turn your children into doves so you don't have to deal with them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this game's not so bad. <laughs> uh, you won me over, Stardew. <laughs> I still wasn't sure. <laughs> I suppose one of the things I could be doing, I could take this... 
Yes, I got a broken CD. Iridium quality. Now I'm going to eat it. Why does garbage come in qualities? It doesn't. Okay. I really want to make it one more level, but I also don't want to die down here in the dark. It's broken, but it was Led Zeppelin's 4, <laughs> so that's Iridium for sure. I think you made that up. <laughs> Yeah, then no one would throw that CD out. <laughs> no one in their right mind. Even after they <clears> broke <throat> it in half? Yep. Any music lover would try to repair that CD. Okay, repairing a CD isn't a thing that can happen, right? <laughs> not, not, not one that's been split in half, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're on a lag here, so maybe you made it first. Wait, no. That's the wrong direction, I think. Don't talk to me about time travel. It's a n an enormous tortoise, but it's much closer, so they thought it was a regular sized tortoise. <laughs> That's a very deep cut. <laughs> That's a very deep cut joke. <laughs> if, uh, if you get that joke, let us know. Yeah. Actually, Kai might get that joke, come to think of it. <laughs> they say of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is? <laughs> what do they say? What do they say? What do they say? <laughs> there are no straight lines. <laughs> it says it there. Read it. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> <laughs> this is the uh, part of the stream where we just reference uh, UK panel shows apparently other things. until the end of time. <laughs> To just quote other things until it's time to go to bed. <laughs> I'm just, I'm standing here in the rain, midnight, you went to bed, I'm still just doing my thing. <laughs> People must have a lot of uh, questions about our marriage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kai, that was a bunch of QI references in a row. <laughs> Fine, I'll come home. Shmaple misses you. Shmaple. <clears throat> How did you guys meet? Well, that's an interesting question. Hey, Laura. <laughs> it's, you know, it's especially interesting with Laura in hey, chat. Hey, Laura. <laughs> yes, it was. It was we met on a whale. Blue whale yes. Um. So our friend Laura, who is in the chat right now, has three moons. What? the the qi bit about how the number of oh. moons we have is always changing um so laura and i went to college together we grew up a couple of towns away from each other in the suburbs of chicago but didn't meet until we met at college a state away and we became friends yes i wasn't so much expecting you to write out the answers i just wanted to make sure you were <laughs> you you knew you were getting your your Ooh. due I passed out in the middle of our farm. Oh, honey. Dave, Dave, Dave didn't, didn't make, make it. it to bed. And let this be a lesson to you. I still brought in 2,500 money worth of fish, though. Congratulations. It was so, all worth it. Laura and I met in college out of state. Um, we were in the same floor and freshman interest group, and I think we bonded over both being from Chicagoland. And then Laura and Dave had gone to high school together. <laughs> gone to high school in... in very uh strenuous quotes because you didn't go that much because both of us were frequently absent <laughs> <laughs> sure it's not really fair of you to call her out like that <laughs> I, I call myself out too i know so i don't know if dave wants to tell the story of how he and laura got back in contact after high school but the short version is that laura introduced us to each other and thought that we would get along and now it's 13 years later. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess technically you would have to say that, yes, we are getting along. <laughs> Generally. What a desperately sad state of affairs it would be <laughs> if we were still together 13 years later and also still didn't get along. <laughs> still haven't really clicked yet. The but, jury's you know. still out. What can <laughs> I say? <laughs> it's 13, yeah. Any day now we'll click, I'm sure. We've, uh, we mentioned on the last stream that we've been married for five years, but we've been uh, together. We've known each other <laughs> since August of 2011. Yep. 
We we dated for seven years before we got married. Half of that, we lived together. Yep. And then we've uh, we've we decided now that we're married, I guess we'll continue living together. Yeah. <laughs> it's a slow burn. <laughs> and honestly, like we got we started dating in very early 2012, and then by fall 2012, when I left the state to go to graduate school, we lived together on the weekends. Yeah. And then when I came home from graduate school, we still lived together on the weekends. Maple. Get in. Guns in you. No, it's not. No, it, I had to pet the cat. You were nine in 2011. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> I guess we're your friendly aunt and uncle. Yeah. We're your friendly internet aunt and uncle. We're very old, <laughs> it turns out. <laughs> uh, Are you old so, enough to be on Twitch? Ah, uh, flower dance. This better not get in the way of my fishing. We don't have to do anything. Don't go... Don't go down like you're going to go to Marnie's. If you don't go to Marnie's, you can escape the flower dance. Huh. Okay. So go to, you can go to the ocean or the river or the, the lake. Just don't go like you're going to go to Marnie's. I guess today's a river day. Okay. You're old enough to buy alcohol. Congratulations. <laughs> that makes me feel better. I'm sorry that I couldn't do the math. I was mostly joking. I'm sure, I'm sure you've agreed to the Twitch TOS and aren't <laughs> breaking any rules. Uh, Veritasium <clears throat> posted a video mm, earlier this week or just the other day about the number 37 uh oh and uh, it, the video really didn't amount to anything more than 37 pops up a lot for no particular reason <laughs> just kind of uh, I don't know, just a coincidence that for some reason a lot of people gravitate towards the number 37 uh, but uh I didn't think anything of it until I realized, oh wait, I'm 37 as of yep. the date of publication of this video. Yep. So that's kind of weird. We are 37 now. And our creaky bones and gray hairs are starting to dis demonstrate that. Well, I started going gray in high school, so. <laughs> the, there's, there's two genes in my family. There's the bald gene and the gray gene. And when I started going gray in high school, I was so enthused. You're <laughs> thrilled. <laughs> yep. Thank God, it's a gray hair. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep that for the rest of my life now. Turn around. There we go. Yes, I I have been going gray very slowly for a while, but I do fear that it is starting to uh, pick up the pace a little bit. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot grayer in my beard <laughs> in recent years. <laughs> That's a new thing, but... My temples have always been, for for the vast majority of my life, my temples have been quite gray. They're having a conversation about 37, and we're having a conversation about going gray. <laughs> Just talk amongst yourselves, it's fine. Three and seven being natural prime numbers or something. Yeah, that's a part of it. Um... It's, uh, <laughs> there's, uh, I mean, it's, so if you were to ask people to pick a random number between one and a hundred, they are most likely to pick 37. Hmm. Just for. It's a, it's a, like we all naturally think that it is the weirdest number so then it ends up being the most common one generally and like if you ask someone to pick a number one to ten usually people pick seven because mm -hmm. you know no one picks five that's right in the middle that's not random yeah um that yeah actually <laughs> there's there was a uh, they do specify that in a lot of results they have to omit the numbers 69 and 42 because those are quote unquote <laughs> not random those have different connotations <laughs> you know. you're doing something else here other than 69 and 420 <laughs> but yeah if you're if you're on the fence about watching that 37 video it it amounts to basically just 37 pops up a lot. How weird is that? And that's 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 and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> 20 minutes of, of that basically. <laughs> it was not my favorite Veritasium video, but it's fine. They can't all be bangers. Mm, yep. Dish. 
can Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, how can I be almost out of energy already? And the oh. answer is because I have this terrible sword. <laughs> this terrible, useless sword. I forgot to uh, uh, re-energize myself and I don't have any consumables. Uh-oh. I don't have any energy restoratives. You might have to eat some of the fish you caught. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I can do that. But them's money. Well, you could also just go home and stop fishing. That's even more money. Well, those are your two options. <laughs> oh, I just watered a monster. <laughs> Isn't it the monsters in Signs? If these were the monsters from Signs, I could just pour water on them. I've literally never seen that movie. Spoilers, Spoilers. for Signs. <laughs> Spoilers for what I think. Oh, Kai says eat your green algae. Oh, I do have that, yeah. All right. Kai, I really like the image of you playing bingo with a bunch of old folks and everybody giggling at 69. <laughs> like, good for the old people. Oh, yes, I made it to 40. Whew. Every now and then I see the <clears throat> meme pop up on the internet how about how in, like, 30 or 40 years, retirement homes are just going to be a bunch of old people just sitting around a TV playing Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> God bless. <laughs> I am here for it. Yep. Oh, I'm excited to get to level 40 because I can get iron now, but also just I'm so glad it's bright again. Kai, when you say F that movie, is that because it's dumb and not worth watching or like scary and unpleasant? Yes, Kai makes a good point that retirement homes are also going to be full of people playing Stardew. Yeah. I was also going to say like, I'm not mad that the trend of, of Among Us took a breather, but I like the idea of a bunch of retirement home Among Us games or <laughs> Jackbox games. It's, I mean, whether or not old folks' homes are full of people playing Among Us, there will certainly be, the, all of the residents there will be calling everybody else sus all the time for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I also need some energy. Okay, so Signs was actually... Oh no, sorry, I did not mean to bring up your lockbox. Nothing makes me feel worse than accidentally pulling up somebody else's lockbox because I do not I'm not going to say the, some of the things that are in my lockbox but every once in a while <laughs> you shut up <laughs> you don't want to traumatize yourself live on stream I don't thank you but every, think of the views every once in a while the McElroys will bring up some of the, oh lockbox um so at the risk of sound at the risk of being too dark on the channel just anything that like Generally, it's for spooky things from movies or television. Typically, we're not talking about actual real-life trauma. Um, things like uh, scenes from Signs, or for me, I'm not going to say the thing out loud. I I saw a scary movie when I was like 11, and some stuff from that is in my lockbox. But sort of like, you so much don't want to think about it that you envision an actual little tiny lockbox in your brain and you envision yourself locking the image up in your lockbox and then you don't have to think about it anymore and it's a it, it shorthand for just like please don't talk about this thing it is in my lockbox and i do not want to pull it out <laughs> just deliberate repression of a uh i don't want to say insignificant thing but like in just not yeah, it's, it's, it's not an actual trauma. It's not it's just, something you need to process with your therapist. It's just like, ew, I wish I hadn't read that yeah. or seen that. Our professional therapist is in the chat to tell us it's okay to put things like this in our <laughs> lockbox. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't do it if Kai said it was mentally unhealthy. That's not true. I drink coffee nonstop and that, I know that's unhealthy. Oh, get out of here. Well, I mean, coffee is a net positive in terms of hydration. So is alcohol, for that matter. <laughs> Alright, Cat's Bagel is my friend. You have put just an excellently long thing in the chat, but I can't pause with monsters around to read it, so... I will read it when I am away from monsters. The scene in Men in Black where the aliens took over the guy's body and then asked for sugar water. That's in your lockbox? Oh no. I forgot to mention this, but I got a couple, I got a few magma geodes and I got a dinosaur egg. <gasps> oh my God. This is the most blessed run. <laughs> we have a dinosaur egg and we have, oh, I just came dangerously close to passing out in the mine. 
Oh, friend, yeah. If you being young is an absolute carte blanche for. I forgot that we already covered that you're young. Um, I mean, <laughs> we were pretty young when Men in Black came out. We were in, I want to say, junior high, yeah, like we 97. Were. So we were all 10. Yeah, we were. We were youngins. We, okay, I need to just leave. Why do I keep eating and then? I'll admit that the uh, <clears throat> when Will Smith gets vomited on by the the baby oh, alien that, that gets birth that's that was pretty not gross. good for you yeah I'll, I'll pass on that <laughs> laura are we allowed to say out loud what's in your lockbox oh kai wants me to do the bit um cats and bagels i hope this doesn't uh trick make you sad but it was it was like a suit it was like is, it was like an air suit maple is sleeping in the uh in the flamingo shrine oh like a good cat i have purposefully never watched more than the first 10 minutes of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, mostly because my mom kind of wouldn't let us. We were big in the... F oh my god, you went to bed before me? I went to bed first. Um, Indiana, The first and third Indiana Jones films are big in my house like growing up. Like We watched Raiders and Last Crusade just over and over, um, but we truly never watched um, Temple of Doom. And then once we were at somebody's uh, I want to say it was my grandparents' house in Florida, and Temple of Doom was on. Temple of Doom was on, and my mom was like, "We are not watching this." Temple of Dune would be a different movie. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should name my my man cave where I do all my gaming. Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom sixty four. Yes. So Temple Lord of Doom Eternal. Dave's having fun. <laughs> the thinking about Doom just makes me happy, okay? Oh, oh tem you still said Temple of Doom. Okay. Yeah. Like Doom the video game. Yes, Laura's lockbox is full on white eyes. Ooh, the bookseller's in town. Let's go talk to the bookseller. We can't afford anything. It's just a fun we, new mechanic. We have 10,000 money. How could we not afford a book? Well, books are like many thousands. And also you should, we should earmark that money for you to have a backpack. Hmm. It sounds like the country life is a good fit for us. Ooh, I mean, that's actually really true. Yeah, that's like, yeah, I <laughs> That's am. extremely real life true. <laughs> I'm gonna put my slingshot in your box of furniture. Is that okay? Fine. Fine. I put uh, the geodes in the dinosaur egg and the jewels of the sea book. Oh, you can read that. It'll give you fishing experience. Oh, uh, those are in, in the wood box. We'll pick it up and read it. Well, that, I, oh, I, I am, see. I am now. <laughs> I've never watched this anime. Aw. You've learned a new power. Good job. So now go into your menu, your person menu, and go to your magic powers, the little purple star. <laughs> so level zero in farming, zero in mining, one in foraging, hey. eight in fishing, <laughs> and zero in combat. Unsurprising. <laughs> But yeah, if you go to your little purple star menu, it'll read to you what power you gained with your fishing book. Uh, fishing treasure chests have a chance to yield row. Hey, that's cool. Um, equip the fishing rod. Do I have anything to do around the farm? Nope. Bye. You could help me water for the love of God. <laughs> it's been raining for like... You have to water every day. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't have to water the lawn every day. Have you... N have you never ever farmed? <laughs> <laughs> the... It's shocking to me that you even finished the community center that one time. I only lived in my own apartment for a year before we moved in together. Yeah. And during that year, I did not have any house plants, that's for sure. So I have zero experience <laughs> attending to, to plants. <laughs> I don't know how to explain to you that I don't either. This is just a game mechanic. <laughs> just learn just learn the video game. <laughs> Play the video game that's in front of you. I do have water. Oh, here, I'll, I'll water the park bench over here. Great, thanks. I'm done now. Used half my energy for the day. <laughs> totally worth it. That that is a mod I installed later. Um, oh, I forgot um, I can make sprinklers. I ins uh, later on in my Stardew experience is uh, pausing time during all of the morning chores. Uh -huh. 
and just because it would be noon before I was done petting all my chickens. And then similarly, uh, I think removing the energy cost of uh, of Watering doing such things. a thing. Yeah. One sprinkler, huzzah! I feel like there was a. Isn't there a rapid click? Oh, I can buy, if I hold down shift, I can buy five at a time. There hey, we go. Hey, look at you. Oh, the music's playing. Okay, when we were upstairs for our break, we were afraid that the music hadn't been playing the whole game because that's the level of sort of attention we were paying to it, but I can say for sure the music is playing. <gasps> Can't believe we got a dinosaur egg. Don't donate that. We're going to hatch that. <laughs> Because then, because then the dinosaur. Okay, and me, uh, ores and geodes go in the black box, not the brown box. <laughs> you may file them as you see fit. Uh, you may file them as <laughs> I see fit. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> and also, uh, this is probably old stuff. Okay. Clamped down on that real hard. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't have a lot of structure and rules about how I play Stardew, but that's one of them. <laughs> I don't know who the... I'm... Is there... Is there a, an NPC that doesn't go to the egg hunt? Because I think I talked to everybody that was at the egg hunt. Well, I'm not... Like, I don't... He's <sighs> Gunta. Was he at the uh, egg hunt? No, but I don't think he counts. It's interesting, though, because I for sure built a silo and my silo quest hasn't gone away, so I wonder if maybe we have greeted everyone and there's some sort of quest glitch in multiplayer possibly and then the number is always 28 I was thinking it would be funny if we hadn't officially met each other and that's why it wasn't letting us but um I'm pretty sure the number did you speak to Linus oh I love Linus Linus is the only person I've ever made a genuine attempt to befriend actually you know what I forgot the game tells you now Oh, it does? If you go to your list of people... Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Pierre. That's who I always forget. I forget. Because it doesn't count until you actually go behind the desk. Mm -hmm. That may be a new quality of life update, actually. There it is. Because all the time when you talk to shopkeeps in front of their... Of, through their shop, it doesn't count as meeting them. You have to go behind the counter. So if you go through your person list, if there's a question mark by somebody's name... That'll be who you didn't talk to. Oh, uh, the person list. Okay. <clears throat> Do you know what I'm talking about? This one? Um, okay. Your hearts menu at the top. Gotcha. Um... Kai, it's really funny because every time I glance at the chat, I think you're saying Edgar Slut, which makes me laugh a little bit inside <laughs> instead of Edgar Suit. I'm going to guess uh, brown jacket and glasses. and. Yeah, I think it's... Your screen is too small for me to see, but a brown yeah. jacket and glasses, I think it's Pierre. I don't see Pierre on here, so... Alright, Cats Bagels, let's talk about Pierre. <coughs> let's get let's get all the Pierre hate out in the open. <laughs> he resells your crops, and there's unique dialogue if you sell him good crops versus bad crops. Honestly, like... Oh, oh. oh we're doing a cutscene. Okay! Good job, Dave. Which is this Morris? Welcome to Pierre's... How do I, what's, oh, that's right. We got to do the thing here with the, the person, the meanie jerk. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, we both have to skip through. I don't think I, I, I can't skip. Oh, <gasps> Caroline cheated on Pierre with the wizard. See, there's a ton of, <laughs> there's so much lore that I don't know. There's an NPC called Caroline. Caroline is Pierre's wife. She's got green hair. Oh, it's a fan theory. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is it because the witch has green hair and Caroline has green hair? Is that the fan theory that Caroline is actually the witch? Or did I just make up a good new fan theory? Oh, shit. Did I just accidentally... Hey, fam. Did I accidentally click through and choose Joja Mart instead? Did you? <laughs> <That's, laughs> well, that'll be interesting. No, I mean, if you complete the community center and and not buy a membership, it's fine. But I think I might have just 
accidentally uh, made Pierre sad. <laughs> oh, the wizard and Abby have the same hair color. Oh, like the wizard is Abby's real dad. I get it. I have to give someone a gift. Does anyone like chubs? Give Linus something. Linus is the coolest. Linus can have... I have a... I, I have ancient seeds. Don't give those away. What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, here. I don't think I count. Uh, <laughs> offer your ancient seeds to Catherine? <laughs> You could put me on blast like that. I know we were talking about how old we are earlier, but that's just rude. Oh, no. Put your ancient seeds in Catherine's ancient garden. <laughs> Withered. Oh, no. <laughs> that's the worst. Also, we're the worst, everybody. Also, I have some star fruit seeds. Cool. You can't print them, uh, plant them until summer. <laughs> print them. Quiet down. <laughs> when the, when you have a 3D printer in the house... Uh, that, you kind of get the feeling that you can print anything. <laughs> yep. uh, do I have... I do not have... Okay. Guess I'm going fishing. Bye. Guess I'm going to the river for fishing, too. Or... Nah, yeah. God, someone's got to mow this part of our property sometime. Can we just call a person? <laughs> There's not a lawn care option here <laughs> in Stardew Valley, as far as I know. Robin, Marnie, anybody? <laughs> Mayor? We could buy a whole bunch of goats. <laughs> Have the goats mow our lawn. It's actually reasonable as a, as a strategy, <laughs> come to think of it. It's not as funny of a joke as I thought. I'm just going to sit here and wait for my iron to cook. Hmm. Let's see. Where did I put... Oh gosh, it's already eight. You are putting random crap in the wrong bin. Because <laughs> I forget. Is this going to be my whole game is just putting everything back where it goes? Remember, I'm dumb. You're dumb, but you're not that dumb. <laughs> I'm dumb, but I'm married to you, so I get a pass. Yeah. This goes here. <laughs> This goes here. <laughs> I'm just going to create a chest where I just dump my stuff and you can <laughs> sort through it. <laughs> Stardew as a analog to your real life marriage. <laughs> you have you have some paradigm that I am unfamiliar with. It's a perfectly simple paradigm. <laughs> and that you devised on your own and have been interacting with for hundreds of hours. Yeah. Yeah, Kai didn't actually like my paradigm much either, so it might not be, it might not be you being unreasonable. I mean, it's not that I dislike your paradigm, it's just that I've, you I've never had my own paradigm yet. for this game either, I just... You, you just, random piles of stuff. Yep. And then one of the mods I installed is that if you put um, chests next to each other, it, uh, you can just click on one and then cycle through the inventory of all the chests that are um, adjacent to each oh, other. That's good. So, when I was playing, I didn't organize anything. I just <laughs> had one giant chest that was just ten chests next to each other. These are summer seeds. They go in the summer seeds. <laughs> also, that requires knowledge that I don't have. I don't know what plants are summer plants. And <laughs> they say so in the description. Oh. Well, I don't know how to read. Ah, uh, now we get to the real the crux of the issue. Yeah. We have so many eggs just chilling. Despite all of the text and dialogue that I've read on stream over the past year, uh, I just can't. That's just a lucky guess this entire time. <laughs> You're being fed it in an earpiece. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of coal. No. Oh, phew. I'm almost out of coal. Hey, look, it's 1140 and Dave's fishing. Yep. 
You're not asleep yet, so you can't yell at me. <laughs> I'm a lot closer to home and the bed than you are. <laughs> and now that it is about to be midnight. Yep, there we go. Fine. To bed, I go. It struck midnight in between casts, so oh, okay. I guess I'll just go home now. That was like my rule in college that if I woke up after my class started, I just got to miss class. But if I woke up any minute before class started, I had to get to class. In one minute, I woke up at 7.52 and had an 8 a.m. philosophy class. And by gum, I made it. Granted, it was in the closest classroom building to our residence hall. But yeah, that was a that was a rushed morning. I met an NPC called Shane. Oh, good. You want to marry Shane? Who who is Shane? Shane's the bad boy. Well, actually, Shane and Sebastian are both bad boys. <laughs> Wait, Leah Michelle couldn't read? What? This feels like a whole a whole area of the thing. Shane's an alcoholic. <laughs> Shane definitely has issues. Well, I did bump into him at, you know, one at night, walking mm. home, stumbling home, perhaps. Bam. Boy, not even a thousand money for fish. What was I doing all day? Just being useless. Yeah. Okie dokie. <gasps> it's crop day, which means I don't have to water everything. The world is shedding. Yeah. <laughs> the great god worm in the sky is molting. <laughs> That's a Hollow Knight reference. Kind of. <laughs> oh, what a good celebrity conspiracy theory that Leah Michelle couldn't read. <laughs> I mean, I doubt it's true, but I like it a lot. Okay, let's see. First things first. I'm gonna re. Also, who is that? <laughs> um, she was one of the main characters, the main stars of Glee. Mm. And is a pretty successful musical theater actress, despite having kind of a terrible reputation of being a diva slash kind of actively racist towards some co-stars. <laughs> oh, does uh, what can I, what can I give Linus? Can I give him anything? Um, usually I give him something forgeable, just because that's what I have on me. So <laughs> it seems somehow insensitive to give the homeless person food, <laughs> but I guess that's. That's probably what he wants, I guess. Have you ever seen that done the cutscene with him where he gets caught going through old man George's garbage? Uh, that sounds vaguely familiar. There, I found a leak. Good job. I'm gonna go take a leak. <laughs> to Linus. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Also, I got some summer squash seeds. Excellent. Put them in the summer, um, chest. I don't know what color summer it's is. It's yellow. Just try to think about it for like a minute. <laughs> no. <laughs> well then... Thinking hurts. Then I'm running <clears throat> out of um, the sympathy for you. It's the headache with pictures. <laughs> that sounds like a Dylan Moran bit. Is that a, did you steal that from Dylan Moran? That is a, a Futurama bit. <laughs> I uh, I know that eventually you get asked to build Pam a house. Do you get eventually get to build Linus a house? This is the part where my truly un uneven knowledge of uh, Stardew Valley comes into sharp effect. Is that if it's kind of character or quest related, I don't always get that f get that far. <laughs> All right, I am on my fishing spot. Have fun. Gone fishing. Yeah. Mmm. My first catch of the day is some algae. Yummy. This bodes well. Oh, 
I don't think you do. And it's like Pam is literally, oh, I see. I see. Yes. It's ridiculous that we buy Pam a house when she has a trailer, but Linus lives in a tent and we don't buy him a house. I feel like there's some quest or, or cutscene where we try to, you try to do something nice for Linus and he actually gets mad about it because he feels like it's a handout or something. So maybe that's it. It's just that Linus is too proud to have a house built for him and Pam is absolutely not too proud to have a house built for her. He could move into the trailer that Pam leaves behind. Yeah, come on, man. That would work. Ugh, hang on. I have like 14 geodes and I forgot them at home. Got another dinosaur egg. What? And, uh, and some chub rope. I mean, I know what that means, <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> but those two syllables together do not sound like they should mean that <laughs> or they should mean anything. Oh, I'm out of coal. Okay. Where did I need all my 14? I gotta donate a bunch of stuff to Gunther, actually. All right. Here we go. It's walking past your brother in the kitchen or something. Chub rope. <laughs> <laughs> Hot the Moss Geode. <laughs> That's another very good HK reference. I'm not wearing my Hollow Knight pants today. I'm wearing very boring, regular, not themed pajama pants. I am wearing my taco pants. <gasps> Dave is wearing his taco pants and his Chonk t shirt, which I always love that combination. And we joke, we call him Chonko Taco. Chonko, Chonko Tonko. Taco Chonko. It has a fat kitty on it. It's a good look. <laughs> It's, I, I do not wear this outside. <laughs> You're really leaning into the fishing, fishing hobo look. <laughs> That's one of the things that I, I know eventually. Hooray, fire opal. Eventually I'm going to have to set up a, a face cam for uh, streaming and such. And on that day, I'll have to start caring what I look like when I stream, and that's going to be such a change for me. I did genuinely get excited about like, oh, I don't have to wash my hair or anything for this <laughs> for this thing. But yeah, Dave has a nice face. I think it would. I, I have a lot of face anyway. <laughs> Quiet down. <laughs> Oh, Kai, I was going to say that despite your protestations about my overall organizational structure, ever since you floated to me the idea of organizing the museum by color, I definitely do do that now. Um, I'm not perfect at it because I don't know how many things of each color there are and certain shelves have a lot less space. But yes, I'm, I'm proud to let you know that I am at least trying to organize my artifacts and minerals by color because I do think that's fun. I'm mad in my earlier, in my upstairs game, in my upstairs farm. Um, I still haven't found a yellow dwarf scroll. Yellow dwarf scroll. Oh, goodness, <laughs> that's a tongue twister. And so I can't do any dwarf stuff yet. I can't believe you got a second dinosaur egg. Well, I guess you can donate the second dinosaur or leave it for me to donate. <laughs> I guess is how we're playing this. Can we not just have a bunch of dinosaurs? Well, the thing is that once you have a dinosaur, they lay eggs and then oh. you can incubate those. So you only need to start, you incubate one and then you have a forever, a forever um, supply. So we can, as long as we keep one uh, to incubate once we have an incubator. Hello, small carnivore. Small car carnivore says they love the dwarf dude. Oh, yeah, the dwarf is so... <laughs> the game has so much depth. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there's a dwarf you can talk to. <laughs> there oh, I have rewards I need to get. I think... Ugh. I Can I just say no to art? Like, I, I'm... I have finally in my... My pre <laughs> one... My what? Uh, small carnivore says that Krobus is cuter, though. Oh, tell your Krobus story. Oh yeah, I uh, my first playthrough uh, pandemic ago, I married Krobus because I thought, oh great, if Krobus lives with me, then I don't have to go all the way to the sewer for his uh, his uh, shopping inventory, blah blah thing. Nope, you still gotta go all the way to the sewer and talk to a what, what takes his place. I don't actually know. I've 
something something I think you talked to the, like a sewer grate or something instead. <laughs> it's it's not great. It's it's just I was I was disappointed, so I uh, I kicked Krobus out. <gasps> I married him for his utility and he gave me none. You're a terrible husband. <laughs> I'm a video game psychopath, what can I say? That's true. I mean everybody knows you are because you like fishing so much. <laughs> <laughs> Small carnivore says that I uh, I uh, have done the sad thing. <laughs> like yeah, I'm putting all this. I, I genuinely like I have I have in my farm on my Switch that I was playing before 1.6 came out. Like I tried to get a little. I made my house a little nicer, but just genuinely like I do not care enough to to have that much like art <laughs> going on. I need to develop my uh, flamingo shrine some more. Yes. But that would require interacting with parts of the game that are not fishing. Oh, how dare. That's, yeah. That's right. illegal. It is the second to last day of spring, so I'm not planting any more spring seeds, but I'm going to put a set of 12 spring seeds here in the box as prep for next spring. And then I'm going to sell all the rest of these for a little income injection. I'm actually pretty sure you said that about Krobus in the last stream, but I got <laughs> excited because you like Krobus. Well, no, you turned out you didn't even like Krobus. You were using Krobus. <laughs> yep. You're the worst. <laughs> His time with me was brief, but he enjoyed it. <laughs> Let us be like two ships passing. <laughs> one One human ship and one weird sewer ghost ship. Nope. Could get the catalog from Robin for flamingo stuff. Mm -mm. I would suggest waiting, getting your backpack, and then we need to start putting money towards, I mean, literally everything else. <laughs> You'll be able to make more money if you have more storage slots, so go ahead and get, we should be able to afford your backpack by tomorrow. Oh, the thing is that I've never, I haven't build my inventory really? yet. <clears throat> I just keep buying, or buying, catching oh, many, many things. of the same fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have, like, I catch, my, my stacks are, like, ten fish high, but <laughs> it's, it's still only one stack. You're ten chubs deep. <laughs> yeah. He's mad at me now. <laughs> <laughs> he made a face. Yeah, probably mining is where you really need the the 36 slots. Yep. You can fill that up real fast in the mines. Yep, yep. Speaking of which, that might be what I do tomorrow. I'm only down to one iron bar. <laughs> uh, fishing is hard. I am being saluted in chat. Thank you for the salute. <laughs> It's a it's a hard day's work, but someone's got to do it. And no I'm one happy. else on the planet enjoys. It. <laughs> I mean, I listen. I don't mind the fishing mini game. I'm the kind of I'm happy to do it. Like I, <laughs> when Kai and I are playing co-op, I do the fishing because they don't want to. I just don't think it's the most important feature of the game, <laughs> like some people do. It is. It is the feature of the game. Yep. Everything else is just side content. Dave doesn't understand why I keep doing this farming mini game <laughs> in his fishing simulator. I do think it's funny. Um, minor 1.6 spoilers coming up. That there are two added mini festivals and they're both fishing related. Yeah. <laughs> Concerned Ape definitely does not like how, mo how nobody likes his fishing mini game. <laughs> I'm doing a um, how many copper bars can I smelt speed run right now. Smelt as a fish? Uh -huh. That's a bit of trivia that you learn from watching British quiz shows is <laughs> all the different words for fish. Yeah, there's a trout-based mini festival and a squid-based mini festival. <laughs> There's also a, a, a new large festival that I won't spoil, but that one is only marginally fishing related.
Trying to think of a fish pun along the lines of marginally, like marlinally. <laughs> Fish related, I guess. Is Come on, man. As close as I'm going to get. That was nothing. <laughs> that was not worth the breath it took to speak out. That's, <laughs> Good gravy. That's the best I got. Okay? Oh, no. You got, you got anything better? You got any other uh, fishing puns to make on marginally? Um, no. <laughs> got to put your money where your mouth is, you know. Minnow. Minnow. Minnowly. <laughs> <laughs> like minimally, but minnows. Minimum wage. I don't know. <laughs> I think we're getting further from it. <laughs> I think we're losing what little thread there was. <laughs> Minnow maxing. There it Yay. is. Yep. Dave plays. Dave Minnow maxes Stardew. I'm just going to pick a random chest to put stuff in. Okay. Uh, you can have the chub bro. Should we make a chest that's just for you to throw your random stuff? <laughs> we have lots of those. Is All it, of them are that. Is it because it's 140 and you don't have time <laughs> to put them in the right <laughs> chest? Is that possibly the issue? Maybe, maybe not. 150. Get out of here. You're too old to be acting like this. <laughs> oh, look who brought in 2,000 money of fishing. Okay. Never mind the foraging money. That doesn't exist. <laughs> going to say that's from farming <laughs> i mean it comes in as a forageable but i had to plant it and water it so it should count as farming yay fourteen thousand money Woot. i can afford a backpack Woot. but before we do that we're gonna have to take our second break of the stream he's gonna pause on me there we go and get paused there we go <laughs> uh, are you sure oh maybe did i break it try did again I? There Hooray! You go. All right, now we're paused. <clears throat> if this is your uh, first time here, this is what we do. We have a nice, comfy, cozy time together playing comfy, cozy games. Uh, if that sounds like your jam, I recommend a like, a follow, a subscribe, etc. It's fast and free, and it'll keep you connected for all of our extremely comfortable uh, shenanigans in the future. Um, if you're already a fan, something you can do to help grow the channel is you can. Uh, Leave a comment on YouTube with a timestamp to your favorite moments. I'll turn those into shorts and clips and put them all over the internet. All sorts of social media. Get a lot of attention that way. It'll be great. Um, when we come back, I'm going to be fishing. And Catherine's going to be playing the entirety of the rest of the game, probably. That's what I do. That's, yep. <laughs> That's it's, how we roll. It's a good thing that fishing is actually lucrative, because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise that would just be useless. If your favorite thing were just spinning around in circles watering dirt with nothing planted in it, this would be a much different game. <laughs> that doesn't sound bad, actually. <laughs> just stand in one spot and just water, just make a mud pile <laughs> for hours. But we'll be back in just a little bit. Enjoy the kitten photos while we are away, and hang tight. <laughs> 